Hello, this is channel Siri Bytes. In this video, I'm, I'm trying to show you some important concepts. So in this video, I'm doing, I'm, I want to create a C2 instance in the public subnet 2. Okay, launch instance. And this is the M I am selecting. You can read the below description and virtualization type is HVM oh, and select t2.micro which is a three tier I'm selecting and before and the next it will give all the VPC and uh, other details okay so in here I said one I don't have any purchase options network is my VPC subnet is in the public subnet too okay I said auto assign public IP yes based on the subnet settings and host name host host name type okay basically enabled resource based IP for DNS request okay enabled that okay basically no placement groups uh, there are three placement groups cluster uh, one is partition and the other is spread okay I'm not using any cluster setup here so that's not I'm not using anything like that no capacity reservation I'm not uh, joining any domain um, for the security purposes uh, you know there is nothing set up like that so I am role yes I have to give the I am role shutdown behavior is stop uh, hibernation behavior no I'm not enabling termination production I don't need it monitoring yes there is a general uh, five minutes cloud watch monitoring but if you want to have one minute monitoring it's charge there is extra charge for it so I don't want that and the elastic interference uh, that's a hardware acceleration credit specification based basically it's a um, it's a it's a it's a IOPS request uh, based on if you want beyond the baseline then you can specify that file system no I'm not attaching anything network interfaces um, generally it is F0 most of the times and uh, I get the general uh, at zero is network configuration that's a network uh, card and uh, so metadata access enabled uh, how many hubs just one I said and in this here user data you can uh, some like a HTTP server I can install that uh, I can do some of the installations whatever I think I need for this EC2 instance okay I can do that in here uh, but right now I don't want to do anything I just want to keep it simple so general root volume is added and uh, deletion on termination termination yes um, most of the time IOPS is like hundred three thousand means 100 baseline and uh, 3000 is the burst up so volume type is GP2 um, that's what that's what I gave here I'm not having any kind of uh, file system that is I'm going to share here so and uh, no tags okay got it next is security configuration okay I want to select existing security group so I do have some existing security groups so I just want to use the, that instead of creating it in the review and launch uh, basically go through the details and uh, okay please launch the instance okay Now I have two instances 
okay where right here one instance in public subnet 1 another instance in public subnet 2 okay right so if you look at here this is the top one and our public instance 2b is in availability zone 2b and the bottom one is availability zone 2a both are running and both checks has been passed okay so now what i want to do is i want to add these e2 ec2 instances in the target group okay i want to add both in the uh, target group and 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 attach a load balancer okay that's what I want to do okay so what I want to do I want to add both of these instances in the target group and attach a load balancer that's what I want to do okay groups no nothing so I want to create a target group right so create target group okay so supports load balancing to instances within a specific VPC that's what I want to do within my VPC I have two instances that I showed you before and these two insta instances I want to add it to my target group that's what I want to call is AD yes and uh, Okay, and I said public group. Uh, I'm giving you know five consecutive health checks for a healthy target and two consecutive health uh, two consecutive health checks. If if they fail, then it treats the target as a unhealthy one. Okay, and uh, the timeout once the response is sent. And once the check is sent, the response should come back in five seconds. And the interval is 30 seconds between um, the health check, each health check, each health check. Okay. So if you if you want, you can decrease this two to two. So um, based on the kind of requirement you are in so you can decrease the interval seconds too okay and any tags no okay that's what the current setup is okay in here I'm registering the targets what these two targets okay to where to the uh, to the uh, target group okay to the target group um, public GRP I just showed you before that's what I'm registering both these targets in to that uh, both these instances to the target group okay uh, so the target group is created here okay and uh, next I have to attach the load balance okay so for these task target group both the instances were added okay all right here I want to create a load balancer okay all right okay the load balancer I want is it which because as I said before I am trying to load balance between two instances and the two instances I'm having a sample index.html web page in both of those instances and just I want to show you how that works 
so I want a application load balancer okay not the gateway load balancer or the network load balancer okay so load balancer type create okay facing yes and IP4 yes and network mapping I need to give the VPC okay so in here I have to select 2A and 2B because that's what I have 2A and 2B okay because one instance is in public subnet 1 and one instance in public subnet 2 okay that's what I have to assign these two okay okay listener HTTP port 80 and default action public group okay so I'm saying okay the listener rules um, for the load balancer listen on port 80 um, and forward what is the action that you have to do forward on forward to public uh, group in that public group I have two instances right okay okay this is the summary so load balancer internet facing security groups was given here network mapping and listener okay so all I have to say is create load balancer. The load balancer is ready. Now what I have to do? So using PuTTY, I have to connect to the one of the instance and um, install the HTTPD uh, whenever I enter the DNS name, uh, the DNS address of the load balancer so the request will be sent to both instead of one okay that's what I need to do I connected to the instance okay All right so I don't have any installations of uh, um, any HTTP yet so let me go through that such that it is such that I can install the HTTP server and the remaining details I will show you step by step Installing HTTPD. It says complete. It started. If you take a look in here, so if you take a look in here, see the www belongs to root and route. Okay, so now before in the previous video, I showed you that but right now so we need to uh, change the permissions of this directory 
such that we can display web web page. Okay, All right. Apache. Nope. Oh, okay. Did you see any Apache in here? Nope. There is nothing. So now I will add the Apache. Okay. Group. see the Apache here Apache group so next thing I have to do is change your machine okay has been changed and okay all right next the files I need to be changed Balancer is ready, and as I showed you before, here if you take a look, the index.html page is ready too. Okay, <clears throat> this is my second instance. Okay, so then once i execute that uh, load balancer url in the browser i need to see that the both the index.html pages will shift okay so that's my idea okay let's check it out Take a look of our slash www html index.html page is ready. Okay, now so all I have to do is you know make sure in the browser once I execute the load down URL both the pages of uh, um, the instance in available availability zone 2a and uh, the instance in availability zone 2b in both the subnets are getting displayed okay let's check it out the both instance are running okay so one in 2a and one in 2b i added both the instances to this public load balancer and this is the dns name um dns a record for the load balancer as you can see in here um, and this is the public load balancer and in the at the attached to the availability zones 2a and 2b and uh, the both the stances are added 
the target. Okay, so that's what I did. And finally, if you look at this, what did I show you before? Uh, if I cat it. instance in public submit 2 b that's what I wrote in, in the in this uh, the second one that I um, created in in uh, availability zone 2 b and submit 2 b okay so now so all I have to do is I have to um, just okay if I do that one in public submit to be I changed both second instance in public submit yappy so there is a little rubbish I don't think I did it right um, in the index.html page so got it to be one in to be and second instance in public submit happy okay now you can see that it is getting load balanced every time I press it is going to the second instance okay all right this is channel series bytes and I hope you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh, I will record few more videos and uh, in this AWS series thank you see you in the next video bye